So on this, you've got the medial side of the kidney, where you've got the blood vessels coming in and out, and the ureter coming out. This is called the hilum, or the hillis of the kidney, this general area right here. And then cross-section the kidney, the outermost part is called the cortex, and then this would be the medulla, the middle part, and in the medulla you have the renal pyramids, so each of these would be a renal pyramid. In between the pyramids, this cortical tissue dips down, and these are called the renal columns. There. And then at the base of each of these pyramids would be the renal papillae. And you can actually see it better right here. At the base of each of the renal pyramids is the renal papillae. And so the urine comes out of these little holes here. And then it collects in this little groove right here called the minor calyx, which would be right there. Right there, right there. And then urine from the minor calyces drains into the major calyces, which would be like here. And there'd be one right there, and right there. And then urine from the major calyces all drains into the renal pelvis, that would be right here. And then from the renal pelvis, the urine goes into the ureter and down to the bladder. Then if you look here, um, in the cortex and in the medulla of the renal pyramid, you can see the nephron kind of looping through. So that's what you see here. So this right here would be a nephron. So this right here would be the renal corpuscle. And then it goes the DC, or sorry, PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. And then as we go down into the medulla, we have the loop of Henle. So that would be the descending limb and then the ascending limb. And then you go into the DCT, the distal convoluted tubule. And the DCTs drain into a collecting duct. So then the fluid goes down through the collecting duct and then through the renal papillae and then minor calyces, major calyces, renal pelvis, ureter. This right here is just a magnification of the renal corpuscle, which is this, 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 this. Those are all corpuscles. So what you're looking at here, this part right here, this would be Bowman's capsule. And if you open it up, then the space in here is the capsule space or Bowman space. And then these are the capillaries. This is the glomerulus. And then over here you can see this is the... So this would be the this would be the afferent arterial bringing blood into the glomerulus, and then as blood leaves the glomerulus, it goes out through the efferent arterial. Yeah. And then the fluid that's formed here in Bowman's capsule then would go into the PCT. So this is the first part of the PCT, or right there, the PCT. That's the end. That's the, don't worry about that. That's the distal convoluted tubule. But, so you can see here the, the fluid. So that's the, this is the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. This is the distal convoluted tubule. And they're so close because if you look over here, fluid that's made in Bowman's capsule will go through the PCT travel through the loop of Henley, then go into the DCT, and the DCT is real close to the corpuscle. The fluid can't go from here to there. The fluid's going this direction, and then over here. 
but it just, the way it loops around, it comes back up beside it. But yeah, that would be the DCT, that's the PCT.